Yes, my people, welcome back to our next one, you know? Yeah, man, so we're there up on the seaside, different location this morning. This morning we come to check out the shipwreck and the plane, the old sunken plane and the old sunken shipwreck out there. The old sunken ship. Yeah, man, so water look good. You know, you know, you know well flat, the breeze low. So, you know. The visibility, I know say it's not going to be 100, but it looks like it's better than the last dive. I don't know, me and Ken are there this morning. And, you know, we are both going to see what we can catch this morning. It's not well early because some rain did a fall this morning and we did a watch the rain. So, you can see the sun has licked me from the head side, yeah, so regular that now for you still. But you don't know. We are going to see what we can find this morning because, you know, yeah, all right, I think the, the weather would have trouble it, but no, see, look good. So, we are going to go so we can catch. Hopefully, it's an ex barracuda here at this. Yeah, man, but other fish there as well. So, I go so we can catch this man in the people. So, come with us, all right. This was in the shallow, some dark teeth snapper was around this coral, but they were small though. So we reached to where the planes are now, and I saw this lovely sized jack. I was trying to make it my first fish, but it was moving too fast. You can see the planes. So this is a ship. It is not nothing much. You can clearly see that it is a sunken ship. I spear a barracuda in this crack in the ship some time ago. I'm going to link the video in the corner. This was my first deep dive, so I didn't spend a lot of time. I saw a yellow tail snapper in about 50 feet of water, so I made a dive on it. And this was a great chance to test out the spear gun because I have done some work on it. I lined up the fish, took the shot, and I grazed it. It was a real long shot. So now I knew that the spear gun is firing good. I saw a huge gold tail here, made the dive, and my way down, I equalized and water filled my mass. So I have to turn back. So this was back at the shipwreck 
I saw three lovely jack made a dive on them, but they swim away. I made a next dive at the wreck and go all the way down on the wreck. A lot of small fishes was down, mainly jack. That was a lovely jack in front. So that was a small barracuda right there, I made a dive on, but when I got down I realized that it was too small. It's a slow motion, it was so small, I could hardly see it. That too, that too little bit man, be a bit it's too small man, if you fire me do a bit of this that So right here I saw Nick's Barracuda made the dive on it But it saw me coming and swam off I got no chance from that one I saw a few quab here, so I made a dive. Went down, line up a nice size one, spear it. While I was heading up, I saw it rip off the spear, so I lose that one. Empty spear. I saw a few more, so I made a next dive. This one was actually bigger. Lined it up, took the shot. I hit it, same thing, it rip off. It's a next loss. I went back to the planes to make one last dive to capture them a little bit better and I saw a snapper. The snapper head for the deep, it didn't give me a chance. You guys can see the planes. One is in top, the next one is just half. The rest of it is scattered along the sea floor. We have been in the water for a while, for about three and a half hours, and we saw nothing much. Only the two barracuda that gave us no chance. So we call it a day and we head for land. So while I was heading in, I was messing with these flounder. The 
This is a species of flatfish with the two eyes on one side. So that's it for the underwater segment. Yes, my people, so we come out of the water safe and sun. Yeah, man, but however, another no fish dive today again. We out there the two away, we search and search and search. We out there about, about three and a half hours to three hours and we search and search and we know we don't catch nothing. The water was dirty, white, so the barracuda of them stay over in the deep, they never come over. Yeah man, I buck up one little one in the last, I did a race and make off time and he run off. Run off, so no chance on that one there. And you know, I shoot two nice size squab and them tear off of the spear. So I go still, but at least I know that the gun is going to fire solid you now. Gonna fire well, well, solid cars. You guys, the first shot me took out there with the yellow tail snapper. Yeah, man, me actually grazed that snapper. Yeah, man, so me know said the gun and I is a the, the, the snapper did there like a distance. So me know said the gun and fire real good. So that me glad fire now. So when me go back for the hunt again, me know say me gun alright. So me know me will get good catch. Yeah, man, so. You see, the same do what you see. Same way, just a little whitey whitey wind. The wind is on it, but it's a beautiful beach. Day. You know, a lot of people on the beach here swimming and things. So, I may go and take in some of the view before me leave. Yeah, man.